Welcome to the Daily Synopsis by Bar and Bench. The Supreme Court today suggested that the name of Sanjay Leela Bansali's film Gaggu Bai Kathewadi be changed in light of the several cases pending before courts seeking to halt its release. A bench of justices Indira Banerjee and JK Maheshwari were considering an appeal against a Bombay High Court order that continued the stay on the summons issued by a Mumbai court on a criminal defamation complaint filed against the producers of the film Gangu Bai Kathewadi actress Alia Bhatt and authors S Hussain Zaidi and Jane Borges on whose book the film is based the suit filed by Gangu Bai's adopted son had sought an injunction against Bansali Productions from airing directing or producing any promo of the film based on the said novel the case will be heard tomorrow a day before the film's release in related news the bombay high court dismissed two petitions filed against the alia bhat star of one of the petitions was filed by congress mla amin patel who sought that the names of the areas mentioned in the film should be changed as it misrepresented kamathipura as a red light district thereby showing the community in a bad light the supreme court dismissed the petitions filed by school students challenging the decision to conduct board exams for classes 10th and 12th via physical or offline modes a bench headed by justice am khanvilkar said that the plea was premature and ill advised as the authorities were yet to decide the rules and the dates for these exams The court also said that it would impose costs in the future if such petitions were filed. Meanwhile, the CBSC told the Supreme Court that board exams would be held physically given the improved COVID-19 situation across the country. The Supreme Court of India's decision to shift all judicial filings from legal size paper to A4 size paper with printing allowed on both the sides has saved approximately 3 crore sheets of paper in the last 2 years this is a conservative estimate based on an average filing of 41000 fresh matters a year with 200 pages per paper book sources have told bar and bench the decision to shift from legal paper with one side printing to a4 size paper with both sides printing was taken in april 2020 after a committee of justice s ravindra bhat and justice hemant gupta recommended the same the initiative to constitute this committee was taken by then chief justice of india s a bobde as a measure to conserve the environment on day 9 of the hijab hearing before the karnataka high court the college development committee submitted that education is a secular activity in which religion has no role to play senior advocate sajan puvaiya appearing for the cdc said that if they are getting instructions from the state they cannot insist on wearing the religious attire even if it falls under the essential religious practice He also submitted that because Muslim students were insisting on wearing the hijab some Hindu students were also insisting on wearing saffron scarves to class the hearing will continue on Thursday afternoon at the end of today's proceedings chief justice ritu rajawasti made it clear that the court's interim order barring the wearing of religious attire to educational institutions would only apply to students in for the time being and not to teachers the bench also said that the interim order would also apply to degree colleges that have prescribed uniforms for students in related news kannada film actor and activist chetan kumar was arrested yesterday for allegedly tweeting derogatory comments against justice krishna dikshit who is part of the bench hearing the petitions against the hijab ban in the educational institutions the tweet said that justice dikshit who made disturbing comments in a rape case in 2020 is now determining whether or not hijabs are acceptable in a government school and question whether he has the clarity to do so the supreme court has held that pharmaceutical companies giving freebies 
to doctors are clearly prohibited by the law and that the same cannot be claimed as a deduction under section 37 clause 1 of the income tax act a bench of justices U. U. Lalit and S. Ravindra Bhatt held that if pharmaceutical companies are allowed to claim tax exemptions for the same, then it would wholly undermine public policy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon.